हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज मुस्कान अग्रवाल एंड दिस वीडियो वुड बी अबाउट माई टॉप फाइव कॉर्पोरेट लेसन इफ यू डो नॉट नो आई हैव वर्क एट एमेजॉन एज एन इंटर्न एंड एज अ फुल टाइम इम्प्लॉय एंड आई एम शेयरिंग ऑल माई लर्निंग दैट आई हैव हैड गुड एंड बैड एट यू कैन टेक केयर ऑफ इफ यू आर इन कॉर्पोरेट और गोइंग टू स्टार्ट योर जॉब एंड जस्ट डिस्क्लेमर दिस वीडियो विल नॉट बी अ वेरी जेनेरिक वीडियो अराउंड कॉर्पोरेट ट्रिप आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू ऑल द हार्ड ट्रूथ अबाउट कॉर्पोरेट सो इफ यू आर समबडी यू कैन गेट ट्रिगर्ड इजिली I would suggest not watching this video. The number one thing is smart work greater than hard work. In corporate, at least in the start, how much work you do doesn't really matter, but how much you are able to showcase the work that you are doing really, really matters. While I was working at Amazon, I always used to think, why is this person getting so much of recognition, even when they are working two to three hours maximum a day? What I observed was during stand-ups, meetings, calls, they were extremely vocal. they were extremely vocal especially when the senior management was there so if you are somebody who are going into corporate make sure that you are working but you also have to let people know that you are working to be that sounded extremely stupid and i thought it was just me who is uh, observing this but then i talked to so many of my friends who are there in corporate like different different companies and they shared similar experiences the number 2 suggestion is you set your boundaries for yourself i remember i was on a call with my father at around 10 or 11 pm and i was like oh i cannot talk right now i have this much work to do that much work to do my manager has said this my manager has said that and then my father told me that you yourself have to set your boundaries for yourself so i used to think if i'll complete my work early i'll probably have the next set of days free trust me that never happens the work is never ending the more you work the more work you get so please work hard but don't be over smart and think that if you will complete a week's work on tuesday you can relax on thursday friday saturday sunday because that usually doesn't happen learn to say no set your boundaries very very clear no matter it is your senior or your employees and trust me there was this one guy in my team who used to come at 8 am leave at 5 pm and he was the most productive person in my team any work after 5 pm straight off no any work after friday no work on the weekends that was a great learning experience for me he was definitely a sd3 and i also had a word with him recently he was like muskan you need to set your boundaries for yourself from the very start you will not respect your boundaries nobody else will too third suggestion would be help others when i was new i was very fortunate enough to have some very specific people in my team who were very 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 helpful to me especially if you are a college student going to an mnc understanding everything in the first two months is really really hard and you should always give back once you have an understanding in every way possible so never shy away from taking help but never shy away from giving help to others also whenever they need it <laughs> and fourth which is my favorite is work friends are not real of course you can be lucky there are a lot of exceptions even i found like a very 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 good friend in amazon i still talk to her very very frequently but this is one of the very very rare instances that i have seen i am not saying be enemies with them but know your professional boundary do not share a lot of personal information with your work friends because that may backfire somewhere down the line and i have seen that happening to myself so my suggestion would be do not trust everybody that you see around you very very easily because when you are in college you are surrounded with people of your same age group but when you go to a corporate you are surrounded with people with 10x or 3x or 4x much more experience than you so your mindsets are totally totally different so be very professional be friends but do not share a lot of personal information with them the fifth point and the most important point is do not get involved into office politics at all there will always be somebody who whom you will think is working harder than you or you know somebody who is somebody that your manager likes more or something like that please do not compare yourself with anybody out there your only purpose should be to complete your work be a better version of yourself if you see any gossips happening around please move away from that i'm telling you it might give you like a 5 minute or a 10 minute pleasure but trust me that is the worst thing you can do in corporate just focus on your work remind yourself why you are there and what i have observed is doing more and more office politics will never get you promotions it's your hard work only and only that will get you the promotions that you need nothing else at all your only competition should be you and everything else is extremely unhealthy 
so yeah these were my five tips and now there are so many other tips also that you have to be patient work hard uh, respect your seniors blah 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 but there are so many videos around that that you can watch these were some things that were not talked about a lot and nobody told me when i was starting with my corporate journey so i thought i should make this video for you guys i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to this channel and if you have any other tip for the viewers put it down in the comments below i'll see you in the next video bye bye